And the obvious question anyone would say is, when should I use interferential on the infrax? When should I use stands on the infrax? Perfectly legitimate question. We generally tell anyone starting off, I'll show you the unit here, almost always start off with interferential. You see it's plugged into the wall right now, and we always suggest when you start off with the infrax on interferential, use it as much as you can with it plugged into the wall. Now, if you can't do that, you're traveling, you're going somewhere, you're getting ready to start some type of activity that causes you pain, you can remove this and use the batteries. That's another way to use the unit. It is portable and you can do it on interferential that way. But the other part of the infrax unit is the TENS part of the infrax unit. And one would say, well, when should I use TENS? Let me just give you a basic rule of thumb. We start you off with interferential. IFT is what it looks like on the unit. You use that almost all the time, first time, every time. What I'm saying is with interferential, it is immediate pain relief. When the machine is finished after a 30 to 45 minute treatment, you will go some time period before you're hurting again. That's called carryover. That's up on our website. Just type in carryover and explain more to you. But let's say you're getting ready to leave the house, you're going to work, and you've got a nagging pain. Then you flip over to the 10 side of the unit. Here's the difference. You can wear tins, use tins 24 seven. So anytime you're hurting or getting ready to do something which you know is gonna be painful, put on your tins unit. And that is already inside the Infrex Plus unit.